Titans outside linebacker, kind enough to hop on the show with us uh, before he heads out onto the practice field. Bud, how we living, brother? Man, I'm good. How are you? Man, I'm good. I'm just hanging out here at this blood drive, getting ready for week one. You excited to play a home game? Feel like the real thing? Okay. Most definitely, man. Season back in stock. You know, all the guys are excited. I'm excited. You know, it's a fun time to be back being a Titan. Well, with that, bud, man, it, it seems like there's so much, and you've, you're a recent addition to what this franchise has been, but the energy around a home opener has not quite felt this way in some time. Last year was obviously, uh, there was a season with a lot of expectations. You guys come in in a similar circumstance with your own standards to uphold, uh, but the amount of juice around this particular game, I, it's it's palpable to us. I wonder if you guys have noticed it in the locker room. Man, definitely. You know, it just it just comes with the the work everybody put in last year. You know, guys feeling like you know we guys feeling like you know uh, we have a chance to you know just continue continue to build and build and build and make sure we're making you know the, the right strides, you know, to be what we want to be. And uh, everyone knows at the end of the day, man, nothing matters in this in this NFL. In the fair league, unless you go to the Super Bowl, so that's just a no-brainer for everyone. So to continue to build and put those steps forward, now that's all a part of the football game itself. You know, I I know a lot of the conversation and and in meeting with you guys on Monday in the locker room when we had the opportunity to do so. I know a lot of the questions revolved around the loss of Harold, and and of course that's important for for the person as much as it is the the teammate and the impact on the field. You want to make sure that Harold is is doing well and, and handling those kind of things in stride, obviously having gone through something similar yourself last year. But this mm-hmm. this defensive front still has tremendous expectations for for the group with or without Harold Landry, even though, you know, the, the presence of Harold would probably make it a lot easier to uphold. Man, yeah, definitely, man. How I look at it, man, you really can't you can't go around trying to replace players. Each player has their own individual traits, you know, uh each player brings something different to the game that the other player really just can't replace. And uh, you know, Harris is a great player. You know, uh, he's he's coming off a big year. I know he's more dep- he's more depressed that he's come off a big year and wanting to follow up with another big year. Sure. You know, than actually getting hurt. You know, same situation with me, man. You know, um, having the ACL kind of tear you, tear you down in the, in the season when you work hard this off season to try to come back in. It can be a major blow mentally and physically. But you know, a guy like Harold can get over it real fast, and uh, and uh, you know, we're we have to step up as a unit. We will step up as a unit, you know, just to go out there and make those extra plays that we know will be lacking his presence. Titans outside linebacker Bud Dupree is our guest here on 104.5 The Zone. Titans getting ready to take the practice field in the game on Sunday against the Giants at 3:25 here at Nissan Stadium. Uh, Bud, when when I when I talk to people at practice and when I've watched you out there working in, in teamwork. Uh, I've, I've spent a lot of time with some offensive linemen who have had to go up against you. And my guy, it sounds like you're giving them all kinds of hell out on the practice field. Man, definitely, man. I know it is a part of the game. You have to go out there and prepare like it's a game. Um, you no, know, bring your traits to the, to the, to the facility and to the team that you're best at. You know, uh, I take pride in being explosive and being fast flying around. So, you know, uh, a lot of guys, man, you know, um, uh, Really didn't get to see that last year because of the injury, you know, nagging different nagging injuries. So this year I got to make sure I put it on display uh, and bring my best foot forward for this team. But, it, I mean, it really felt, Bud, and, and you know, I think everybody's understanding because Lawan was going through a similar circumstance. There's plenty of ACL tears across the league every year, and, and there's just kind of a different kind of curve that, that guys returning from those injuries are graded on, at least in the in the short term when you're trying to get back out on the field and, and kind of get a, a better feel for where your body's at. But the way that you finished mm-hmm. last year, I think, gave everybody kind of a, a lot of excitement and a lot of, uh, a lot of hope about what you would be able to do and how this defense might further maximize what you're already so adept at. Yeah, definitely, man. Uh, you know, just getting feeling that scribe coming into my own then. But, uh, you know, I had all, all season in the camp, you know, uh, it's, it's a major part of being able to be on the field with these guys during camp, uh, mini camp as well, to you know to get a feel for how everyone plays and how everyone get a chance to see how I really play in the long term. Going to the game and just running the scheme is one thing, but when you're be able to be at camp, you know, see the different personalities of a player, see the different traits, and actually be able to say, okay, cool. So now we know Bud can do this and do this, and we'll actually be able to put these situations involved. You know that makes a big difference. You know, uh, so you no know, practice helped us a lot, making make sure that me, for myself, is, is best, foot, best foot forward. 
Well, speaking speaking for you guys as a unit and, and uh, Titans outside linebacker Bud Dupree here with us on 104.5 The Zone. Uh, Ola is somebody who gave you guys great snaps last year when there were injuries, has obviously done so uh, done so in the preseason and will have the opportunity to do so again this year was going to, going to anyway, given the uh, the opportunities that he had earned. But he's a he's a captain this year, Bud. That's got to get you hyped for your guy. Mm-hmm. Man, most definitely, man. I'm excited for him, man. He puts in the hard work day in and day out. You know, he takes pride in that special teams role that he has, and uh, and now he gets a chance, you know, uh, to come out, you know, and, and actually get a lot of starter roles since uh for the the loss, the devastating loss of Harold. But you know, he gets a whole opportunity to step in and step up, you know, and create another role for himself, obviously on defense, man. And it's kind of and it's and it's, and it's kind of uh, a bit sweet for him, you know, going through his career being <laughs> being a backup in Pittsburgh, sure. me and TJ, then coming here being a backup to me and Harold. For him actually to be in it, man, it's, it's, it's a great opportunity for him. I'm excited for him to the tremendous team. I was listening. Uh, I was listening to your your guy Ramon. He's got the show on uh, before uh, our show, obviously, and and he was Ramon Foster talking about you know he saw Ola uh-huh. kind of come up as a young dude and in Pittsburgh and and kind of uh, glad to see that uh, that Ramon's you know Ramon's influence did not lead Ola astray. Just how far has has he come though, <laughs> Bud, as a as a player? Uh, because, you know, fortunately he did survive the influence of Ramon Foster, but it seems like yeah. Ola really, really last year, it took a definitive step, even from what he was with the Steelers during your guys' time together. Man, definitely. I think that just comes with more times and more reps for him, man. Uh, he's obviously a, a great pass rusher, you know, uh, that's what keeps him around, keeps him on the team. Cause even as, a, even as, as his small size and small stature, you know, he still can get to the quarterback, still a very physical player, you know, for seeing him, you no know, work, ask questions, continue to continue to look at film. You no, know, we 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 do stuff together, man. It kind of pick each other's brains on certain stuff. He brings a little bit of quick movement to the game that you no know, other people are really not used to seeing from a smaller guy on the end. So you know, it's it's a big opportunity for him, man. Uh, I think he's going to use his best attributes, best for himself. Uh, looking at the opponent this week, bud, and then we'll get you out of here. And I appreciate you spending some time before practice. Uh, we talked to Byard on Monday, and basically his line was, "It's not, you know, it's not Josh Allen and the Buffalo Bills, but what they do offensively has the potential to have some similarities." As a quarterback who has displayed uh, the ability to move, he's going to run, he's going to make plays with his legs, and obviously Saquon Barkley seems to be uh, rounding back into form after dealing with injuries. What what are kind of the team keys this week when it comes to the run defense against two players who you know are going to try and take advantage of some opportunities there? Yeah, definitely, man. We got to stop the run on that aspect of it. You know, uh, you know, Daniel. Uh, let's let's start with Saquon. Saquon is not a fluke. Saquon is an animal at his state. So you know, any time you let a lion out of the cage, you got to be prepared for anything it's going to do. So you know, uh, we got to make sure we contain him. Uh, he's a great player. Make sure we you know we, we get a hats on him at all times. Not running away from contact. We got to go meet him. You know, bring it to him. And also, you know, Daniel Jones, he's a, he, he's a he's a very athletic player. Kind of don't really get a lot of recognition for it. So if you think it's, if you're sitting back thinking that you it's sweet with him, or he may not run you over, you're gonna get ran over. So you know, we gotta put it in his face each and every time to let him know that we're here as well, because he's gonna bring it. You know, he has something to prove right now. And uh, well, both of those guys have something to prove right now, man. So we gotta go out and continue to make sure that we're not the people they prove it on. So. That's part of it. He's Bud Dupree, Titans outside linebacker. He's going to play the, the season opener, as will the rest of the team, against the New York Giants this Sunday, 325 kickoff here at Nissan Stadium, where we're broadcasting live today. Bud, thank you as always. I appreciate the time. Continued health and success this season, buddy. Man, thank you. I'll be safe. Be blessed.